I thought this time I uh, had a go at a TARDIS. So I said I want to make the Hartnell one, the first one. So I got a fair few sort of spare TARDISes kicking about, and I thought, what's going to be the best? So I did think about this one. This is the David Tennant flight control TARDIS, uh, which is quite nice because it does have lights in it. I think the battery's going for Oh no, you just about to see it. So it lights up. And it makes a noise. So I thought it'd be nice to use those bits. Um, but there's a lot wrong with this. So the roof's not bad, but the doors are all wrong. It's too fat, it's too big. Um, I've got a spare John Pertwee TARDIS. So I thought this is more like Hartnell TARDIS. So the, the windows are better, they'd be doing white. The sign is better. It's horrible wood effect, so I'd have to try and fill all of that. It could be a bit of a pain, but I think it's probably worth doing. Try and preserve this cool box sign. It'd need the, uh, the telephone being done in a white background. It'd need the handles removing, moving the keyhole down to the other door, um, and totally rebuilding the roof. And I thought I might be able to use that roof, but it turned out completely different sizes, this TARDIS could always fit into this one. Um, so I'm going to take this one apart and see what it, whether it's uh, got anything that's doable in there and we'll have a look and see what happens. Okay, so I have took it all apart. It was a pain to get apart because some parts of it are glued and some parts aren't, so it's random. So it all comes apart, you get four, four wall panels. The roof is a flat piece. The lamp comes off. I'm going to have to make a whole new lamp. I might use the clear part. I might just try and remake something. In fact, it's all one clear part, just painted. Um, it's got half the electronics in it. It's got switches and things left in it. What a weird thing. Why would you bother? Um, so I suppose the jobs I've got to do are build up the roof. That'll be the big job, roof and lamp, um, repaint these, filler or sand down as much as I can of this horrible wood effect, give it a better paint cut job, uh, remove the handle, move the lock, reprint some graphics, uh, so yes yeah, so I'm probably going to do the roof first. Okay so we're going to build the roof up and we're going to use plastic sheet. Okay, so glue them together, a bit of filler, a bit of sand in, it's about 10 minutes work. Love this plastic card, it's so good to work with. Um, so that's going to sit on 
this bit that I made, so that will sit on there. But it will have a bit of a lip around it. Uh, so that will be the next bit that I'm going to do, and it's just strip. And I need to build the light. Okay, so I've built the tower this top, made the lamp, I'm just going to use a bit of old brush covering to make the light, uh, I'm going to have to hollow it out so I can paint that and then push it in, cut it flush, stick it on, uh, so that's come out quite well I think. So the next job is going to be Tidying up the handles on the door, so cutting the handles off the doors, uh, and then I don't know what I can do about this horrendous wood effect. I might just try sanding it, see what happens. But we'll have a look. We'll have a go. Okay, so I need to replace the sign, so I just printed some out on the computer. I'm just going to cut them out and stick them on. Okay, so I created the roof, um, but I wasn't too happy with it because I think it's too tall. It's more like the um, uh, Peter Cushion film roof, so I thought I'll use that as a practice attempt and make another one. So I've made one, not quite finished it, which is a lot less tall. Um, and I've also made it so that the the, roof, the light goes flat on the roof. Um, so that's come out. I've tested some blues. So we've got um, a crag blue in Citadel. Then we've got uh, Lufthansa blue in Revel. And I think I like this one. And then I've met, uh, dark, darkened it down a bit with some uh, black wash. Painted the windows. So once, once we've got that, we can repaint the rest. I've also redone the the label on there, so that will go in there like that, so it's more like the Hartman one. So it's coming along, I'm going to finish the roof, undercoat it, and then we can get some painting done. Okay, so this is the just undercoated uh, new roof, so much better sort of size than the old one, which is a bit big. Painting wise, well, like I said, I'm just going to use my crag blue citadel and even if it needs another coat that's darker at least it will give it a, a nice base coat so what I'm going to do and then we'll come back and we can weather it and see what it looks like it might be a little bit too blue but we'll have a look okay so I've painted all the panels um, and now we're going to weather them so for that I'm going to use some humble black wash and I'm going to do that all over and come back okay so I've added some black weathering and now I'm going to add some pigment powders and I'm going to use some sand yellow just to Add a bit of dirt and then some white because there are some white streaks on it. So I'm just going to do that all over and then add a bit of white and we'll come back and see what's happening. Well, I've propped it all back together and I think it's coming up quite well. Excuse me, Mr. Hartnell. So, everything's working. You've got the St. John's Ambulance, the new panel. The new painted windows and the new stepped roof, new lamp. Maybe a little bit tall, but 
I think it looks okay. The weathering, I think, makes it look nice. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, the base is too thick, but to cut it down meant I'd have to uh, take off the spring for the door. And to be honest, I'd rather have the springy door than it be 100% accurate. Um, this was a Hartnell figure that I repainted on the face. Let's see if we can get a close up. There we go. So, oh. There we go. So yeah, so I'm really pleased with the way it came out. Um, certainly cheaper than buying a Hartnell character options TARDIS, although Knowing my luck, they'll probably redo it in the BNM. Um, so yeah, very very simple to do really in the long run. Um, I'm glad I went with the the second uh, roof that I did because the first one's a bit big. If I ever do a movie tile, they say that's perfect for it. So yeah, um, hope you like that. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more of these style videos. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.